In this question, we have figure 15, 33a is a partial graph of the position function x at t for a simple harmonic oscillator with an angular frequency of 1.2 radians per second. Figure 15, 33b is a partial graph of the corresponding velocity function, v of t. The vertical axis scales are set by xs is equal to 5 centimeters and vs is equal to 5 centimeters per second. What is the phase constant of the simple harmonic motion if the position function x of t is in the general form x equals xm the amplitude multiplied by cos of omega t plus phi? <clears throat> okay, so we know that the angular frequency is equal to 1.20 radians per second. <clears throat> and we know our general equation, so x of t is equal to xm cos of omega t plus the phase constant phi, which is what we're trying to solve for. <clears throat> so we, we want to find the velocity function, which is just the derivative of the displacement function here. So the position function, so we know that v at t, v of t, is equal to, so the derivative is negative sine, the derivative of cos is negative sine, and we bring, <coughs> it's a chain rule, so you multiply it by omega, so it's negative omega xm times the sine of omega t plus phi. Okay, so we're trying to find out what the phase constant 5 is here. So we have one unknown is xm and another unknown is time. But what we can do is look at both the graphs and find the position at time t equals 0 and find the velocity at time t equals 0. So we know that x at 0 is equal to, <clears throat> I'll do the standard unit, 0 0.02 meters, so 2 centimeters. Because x at s is 5 centimeters, and this is 2 ticks out of 5, so that's 2 centimeters. While v at 0, the velocity at 0, is equal to negative 0 0.04 meters per second because the Vs is negative 0.05 and we're 4 ticks down out of 5 so that's negative 0.04 meters per second <clears throat> so we're gonna solve both equations in terms of xm and make them equal to each other because xm will be is the same <clears throat> in this simple harmonic motion so we have xm so we'll do the position function xm is equal to x at t. We'll do it at 0, so we'll do x at 0 over the cosine of omega times 0 plus phi, the phase constant, which is also equal to <coughs> So we'll rearrange this in terms of xm. So it's v at 0 divided by negative omega multiplied by the sine of omega times 0 plus phi. OK, <clears throat> we can just plug our numbers in. So this is equal to, well, I'll bring the sine up to the top, divided by cos is a tan, and this is term 0, this term 0, so it's going to be tan of phi is equal to v at 0, divided by negative omega times x at 0. So we're going to have the tan of phi is equal to v at 0, so we'll write v at 0 as negative 0 
divided by negative angular frequency, so negative 1.20, multiplied by the position at time t equals 0, which is 0 0.02 meters, 0 0.02, and then we're going to go, we'll do inverse 10, so phi is equal to the inverse 10 of this fraction here, and so phi is equal to 1.03 radians. Or if we in degrees, it's 59.04 degrees. <clears throat> so this looks like a very complicated problem. But you just have to solve both equations in terms of x and make them equal to each other. And then you have sine of phi over cos of phi. You bring the sine up here. And that's just tan of phi. It makes just tan of phi. And then you just get that equal to a fraction. And then you can solve for phi.